Today we're going to talk about the proper technique for opening a bottle of wine. Every bottle of wine, if it's a, a cork, has a cork to it, should have a lead capsule at the top of the, the bottle. Uh, it's made out of tin foil or plastic, uh, but it's called a lead capsule. So when you're opening a bottle of wine, make sure you've got a good corkscrew that works well, like this one, nice waiter style corkscrew with a double hinge to it. You've got a good sharp knife, be careful with it, but a good sharp knife as well. Each bottle should have a small lip here, and what I would recommend doing is just get the knife just at the bottom of that lip, and put your finger behind it just to steady it. Now you can just kind of run around the edge. If the lead capsule turns, that's fine, or if you turn the bottle, that's fine too, but just run the knife right along the edge. If you want to do it a couple of times to feel safe and secure that you're getting the lead capsule off, that's fine as well. At this point, I'm just going to pull up a little bit, and as you can see, it should just come right off for me. Okay, now I'm going to wipe the top, just in case there's any little shards of, of tin foil there. The corkscrew has this thing called a worm. I'm going to put this directly in the center. I don't want to come at it from the side. I want to go directly down the center, and I don't want to apply any force to push the cork down. It's unlikely that'll happen, but you just want to make, just twist the corkscrew into the cork like that. The double hinge corkscrew has two sides to it. You want to get the, the first one, the one closest to the top of the corkscrew on the bottle. Should have some two, two little flanges here to do that. You can tell because the lever, the handle, is flat at this point. So I'm just going to pull up just a little bit and then come down at an angle and get the bottom part on the bottle and come up the rest of the way. But I'm not going to go completely out yet. I'm going to finish that off with my hand so I can have a nice controlled... There we are. Now we're, we're not worried about spilling wine or, or anything like that. I'm going to wipe off the top of the bottle again just in case there's any little pieces of cork and get a nice aroma from the wine, make sure that everything's fine with it, no issues, and I am ready to pour and enjoy the wine. For more information about opening a bottle of wine, decanting, or other ways to enjoy wine at its best, we'd love it if you'd access our website, wardonwine.com. It's going to help you to give you that right information to really get a, a nice glass of wine.